Governor of Adamawa State, Ahmadu Fentiri, says his administration will prosecute the sponsors and the 90 miscreants arrested by security agents in connection with the looting of Nema warehouse in the state. This comes as the state government relaxed the 24-hour curfew imposed across the 21 local government areas. Correspondent Wulabi Adenisi filed in this report. Business activities have resumed fully in Adamawa State after the restoration of normalcy in Yola, the state capital. The aftermath of unrest which swung out of control. Hoodlums now believed to be members of the local terror group Sheila Boys had on Sunday invaded Yola, embarking on a looting spree of government and private property, forcing the state government to impose a 24-hour curfew in the state. The hoodlums had, under the pretext of being distrangled by fuel subsidy removal, unleashed mayhem on innocent citizens. Some traders who spoke with TVC News are still counting their losses as a result of the curfew. Uh, precisely, some of us who deal in perishable goods like tomatoes and pepe and the rest, we have already made orders and all of a sudden this pronouncement came and we are goods. Our goods had to, you know, be shut down and we lost our businesses. Governor Fintry was in Abuja for an official assignment when the incident happened, but has returned to the state. His first act was to embark on an on the spot assessment of the Neymar office. The governor expressed his displeasure at the scale of theft and destruction, promising its perpetrators will not go unpunished. Uh, 90 of them have been arrested. We're profiling them. Their perpetrators will also be identified and we're prosecuting them today. And if for any reason we also have link to their perpetrators, they will also join. Earlier, the deputy governor, after a crucial meeting with security agencies, relaxed the 24-hour curfew to allow individuals to embark on their legitimate businesses. Addressing the newsmen shortly after the meeting with security chiefs, the deputy governor announced that the curfew has been reviewed from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Parents are urged to send their children and wards to school while business can now be reopened. Residents are directed to abide by the curfew hours and remain courteous to security operatives enforcing aid. The curfew has been, have been relaxed. It will now be from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And of course, we are expecting that the people of Adama State, the good citizens of Adama State will go about their lawful businesses and be calm because calm has returned to town. The state police authority says it is working with the state government to prosecute the over 90 suspected thugs arrested.